Today I'm going to be showing you an updated best build for the Technomancer after recent changes and nerfs have been made to the game. Now, really quickly, I just want to apologize for having this build and the Pyromancer up slightly late. I've just been really busy getting the last armor piece to get 100% accolades, then Resident Evil dropped. I thought it was dropping a day later than it did, and I had to start that immediately. But let's just jump right into the build. Now, I know there's a little bit of speculation on is Dark Sacrifice or Bomber's Rage better, and some of you don't even know about Dark Sacrifice. But I can sh assure you that 100% Dark Sacrifice is better, and the reasons are twofold. So, first off, Dark Sacrifice is much easier to get the first kill. Dark Sacrifice does as much damage as if you had Embalmer's Rage and you had already gotten a kill and you were working on your second kill and you were actually in the range to get all crits. Second fold is Embalmer's Rage has a sh moderate range at which it can actually benefit from the five seconds of all crits. If the target's at actually like fairly distance, mid range, long range, then you won't even get those uh, guaranteed crits and you'll be doing very minimal damage compared to if you had Dark Sacrifice on. Dark Sacrifice even on like T15 on Stargaze, I can take the snipers out across the map just with a couple of bursts. So it really is beast. With this build, once you've got uh, three kills going and you pop your turret and grenade, you're putting out 543,000 firepower with an 86k Inferno Seed. If you happen to have been lucky and gifted a 99k, you would be putting out 557k firepower with this build once you get going. So, you could alternatively still run the Grim Marrow or the Reaver if you are a huge fan of the LMG, but now with Dark Sacrifice fixed, how beast the Infernal Seed is, I do highly recommend the Infernal Seed. Your secondary should be the Thunderbird because it has crit damage and comes with Ultimate Storm Whip, then put Shadow Comet on to stun the enemies. Alternatively, you could use Air to the Desert and run Shadow Comet in place of the Tier 2 mod. Pistol does not matter. So, the god roll for this build is definitely bonus firepower, close range, long range. You're going to want that on all your gear. Sharp Eye is a guaranteed bust for the build. Mitigation from death is questionable. It is like a swap out mod uh, or you don't even have to run it. The number one defensive mod to actually run is Preservation Shield. I know some of you aren't familiar with it, but let me tell you, like it has a five second cooldown and while you have shield, you're actually immune to status effects. The number one killer of Technomancer players is toxic and being caught in freeze. Well, if your health drops below 30% and that shield activates, you have immunity to those effects. So, Preservation Shield will save your life so many times. You actually, if you had to pick one, you want to go with more firepower, you don't even need mitigation from death. I just uh, didn't get the opportunity to get Mitigation from Death as a swap out mod so I could get rid of it and add more firepower and I'll get into a moment after I go through the rest of the list of a couple of choices you can swap that out with. So we do have Spare Mag. Now Spare Mag is obviously not needed in solo play with this build but in three players I still highly would recommend having it on as you probably will occasionally reload. Captain Hunter is a must. Rejuvenation uh, is really good with Dark Sacrifice because every time you're doing damage while your health is deplenished, which is 100% of the time with Dark Sacrifice, your 8 second bonus is resetting, so you basically have rejuvenation all the time, giving you an additional 14,000 firepower and 40,000 armor. We obviously do not really care about our anomaly. Then we have Radical Therapy and Euthanizer for more damage and Toxic Lead combined with the Brain Eater already on the Infernal Seed is more than enough ammo back to keep up our mags. So the skills that we're going to be running is Scrapno and I'll get into why Scrapno in a moment, Blighted Rounds obviously and Blighted Turret. So the class tree for this build is Weapon damage, weapon leech, armor piercing just because we have to take it, critical damage, vulnerability, more damage with our vulnerability, reduced long range, 
Now we're going to be running the ordinance. In order to take the ordinance, we do have to uh, not take the cooldown, but it's well worth it because with this build, the amount of damage you're already doing, it's very hard to lose your blighted rounds provided you hit your shots. So what you're going to do is you're only going to really throw your grenade when you're low on your killing spree or sharp eye and you got like three alphas in your face or you have even you can even throw it when you got one alpha in your face if you don't already have a kill going or when you're about to kill an elite as an elite spawns in you'll just toss your turret toss your grenade and due to the animations of both of them you'll have about eight seconds of 70 percent increased damage so then we're going to be running uh weapon damage increased damage increase reduce long range increased damage increased damage Increased damage, doesn't matter, gotta take it. Increased damage, increased damage. More magazine, which means increased damage, increased damage, and increased damage for you and other tricksters and technos when you throw your turret. And this is definitely the best build that you could possibly use with the Technomancer right now. Highly recommend building into it. And, uh, hope that hope that helped